guys, welcome to Algebra 1 Half, Lesson 44. Today's lesson is kind of going back to our arithmetic, super easy, super simple. We're talking about multiplying and dividing mixed numbers. So when you have a mixed number, the easiest thing for you to do in order to multiply or divide is that you start by changing your mixed number into an improper fraction. So here I have 4 and 1 third times 6 fifths. I'm going to first change my 4 and 1 third into an improper fraction. By multiplying 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 is 13, that gives me 13 over 3. Multiply that by 6 fifths. First, I'm going to see if there's anything that I can cancel. I can cancel my 3 and my 6 because they have 3 as their greatest common factor. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. I can't cancel anything else, so now I'm going to go ahead and multiply. 13 times 2 is 26. 1 times 5 is 5. And 26 over 5 is my final answer. I can't reduce it. I could change it into a mixed number, but I don't need to in algebra. I can leave it just as is. Okay? So that's all that you have to do for multiplying by mixed numbers. Let's look at this one. Here I have three mixed numbers in a row. 2 and 1 fourth times 3 and 1 third times 5 and 1 twelfth. So I'm going to change each one of these mixed numbers into an improper fraction. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. 12 times 5 is 60, plus 1 is 61, over 12. All right, now I'm going to see where I can simplify. Well, the easiest one is this 3 right here. 3 can uh, go into 9, that cancels out. 3 divided by 3 is 1, 9 divided by 3 is 3. Is there more that can be canceled? You bet. How about this 3 and this 12? 3 divided by 3 is 1, 12 divided by 3 is 4. Easy, woo, there we go. We're canceling numbers and making them smaller. Um, how about 4 and 10? 4 divided by 2 is 2, 10 divided by 2 is 5. Anything else we can cancel? No, nope, nothing else. So now we just multiply across. 1 times 5 is 5, and 5 times 61 is 305. 2 times 1 is 2, times 4 is 8. Check to see if you can reduce. Nope, that's it. So 305 over 8 is your final answer. All right, now let's look at division. Remember that the fraction bar means division. So when you see something like this, this means 2 and 1 eighth divided by 3 and 2 thirds. So the first thing that I need to do is change these so that I have improper fractions. 2 times 8 is 16 plus 1 is 17. So that gives me 17 over 8. 3 and 2 thirds. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11, so that's 11 over 3. Now according to my division rule, I need to flip my fraction and multiply. Well, which fraction do you flip? You flip the second one, the bottom one, your divisor, what you're dividing by. So this becomes 17 over 8 times 3 over 3. 11. Okay? Anything to cancel? Sadly, no. So I just have to multiply. 17 times 3 is 51. 8 times 11 is 88. Check if it can be reduced. Nope. So this is our final answer. All right, one more before you do your practice. I have 4 and 1 8 divided by 2 and 1 5 times. 3 and 1 fourth divided by 5 and 1 half. So you're probably asking yourself, well, what comes first? Which one am I supposed to do first? My division, my multiplication? Well, since we have to change everything to multiplication anyway, that makes it nice and easy. Excuse me, I have a notice on my phone. Oops, sorry. There we go. Okay. All right, so I'm going to start by first changing everything to an improper fraction. 4 and 1 eighth becomes 8 times 4 is 32 plus 1 is 33. So this is 33 over 8. 
2 times 5 is 10, plus 1 is 11. So this becomes 11 over 5. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 is 13. So this is 13 over 4. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 1 is 11. So this is 11 over 2. All right. Now for everything that is division, I need to flip the second number. I need to flip the divisor. So it becomes 33 over 8 times, I'm going to flip this, 5 over 11 times 13 over 4. And now I have divided by 11 over 2, so I'm going to make that multiply and flip it so it's 2 over 11. Now I'll cancel where I can. I can cancel this 11 and 33. Their greatest common factor is 11, so 11 divided by 11 is 1. 33 divided by 11 is 3. Let's see if there's anything else I can cancel. Well, this 2 and this 4, 2 goes into 2 one time, 2 goes into 4 two times. Check everything else, 5, 13, nope, nothing. Okay, so now I can go ahead and multiply across. 3 times 5 is 15, times 13 is, let's see, I'm going to check my book, is 195. 8 times 1 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 11 is 176. Check if you can reduce it. Nope, so we have to move on. All right, that's your final answer. Go ahead and pause now and do your practice. Sorry, I keep getting notices on my phone. All right, you should be back now from your practice. Letter A, you should have 34 over 9. Letter B, 45 over 4. Letter C, 65 over 44. Oops, 44 or 49, hold on, let me check my handwriting. Yep, 44. And then letter D is 28 over 5. Okay, let me know if you have any questions about this concept, if you need any more help, if you need me to slow down, and you can always watch the video again. All right, love you guys very much, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye.